Welcome everyone, you may be in a situation where you have black and white lines on the screen of your iPod Touch. This video will cover why that uh, is here and what you can do to get the issue solved. So the reason why you have these lines is because your screen is faulty. Maybe there was some water damage on the iPod Touch and that would cause the screen to glitch out. Other times you may just have dropped the iPod Touch or you bought it used. Or over time with wear and tear, you know, dust may have gone to the iPod Touch, moisture may have gone to the iPod Touch, and over time that may cause issues. Don't forget, this iPod Touch is not rated for water resist uh, resistance, it's not rated uh, for dust resistance either. So that is a possibility if you've owned the iPod Touch for a very long time. So what can you do to solve the issue? Well, here's the deal, right? If you have a new iPod Touch, let's say the iPod Touch 7th generation, or you bought the 6th generation not too long ago, and you bought it used from Apple, well, guess what? You have the law on your side because you have up to five years warranty. Yes, five years warranty, you heard that correctly. So when it comes to the UK and Europe, US is not supported. Some other, other countries may be supported, but it's mainly UK and Europe. You have something known as consumer law rights. So all you need to do right now, Contact Apple support and tell uh, they'll you know tell them you had the issue with your iPod Touch and you would like you know the screen fixed and what they will tell you is they will tell you to pay money they'll usually say oh you need to charge what you say then is you say I would like to do this repair through consumer law and once they've done that they will uh, you'll have to like do a phone call it'll be a long phone call because they try and make sure that you don't use consumer law because you know. It just costs Apple's mo uh, Apple money and they don't like using it. But I used it to repair my MacBook Pro 2019 6 inch because I paid £1,500 once for repair and then the repair was 14. But you know, I need to do another repair and the repair was outside of the uh, warranty window. So you know, they, they were going to charge me another 1500 quid. Do you see what they did there? Those little, uh, you know, won't say the words, won't say the insult, but that was obviously done intentionally. So I'd pay up more because if he's going to pay £1,500 one time, he's going to pay more, right? No, I use consumer law, so I got that second repair complete for free, thank goodness. But guys, you just want to start the consumer law, you will need the original proof of purchase from your iPod Touch, so that would be an invoice from the Apple Store, and then once you've done that, you're good to go, you send your iPod Touch into Apple, and then, well, guess what, you got the uh, screen issue fixed. If you are in a country which doesn't have consumer law, or you had water damage on your iPod Touch, uh, that doesn't uh, that isn't covered over uh, consumer law. Well, then unfortunately you're kind of screwed because you're just gonna have to live with this uh, screen. The best bet, buy a cheap iPhone uh, because the iPod Touch is nowadays they like cost more than really they're worth. Because uh, if you think about it, right, I'm not trying to bash the iPod Touch, just don't, don't think that for a second. But this chip is the A10 chip, and the problem is is because this iPod Touch is still being sold at the Apple Store, right? You can go to the Apple Store right now and buy one. That means that the price reduces, you know, lower over time, right? So currently, uh, the iPod Touch 7th generation has the same chip as the iPhone 7. iPhone 7, you know, has a Touch ID sensor, larger screen, better camera, better everything, right? But you can get the iPhone 7 cheaper than the iPod Touch 7. So you, you get the point I'm trying to say it. It's because the iPhone 7 isn't sold by Apple anymore, whereas the iPod Touch is sold by Apple. So that's the reason why those prices are usually higher. Therefore, I recommend for the same price, you could probably get an iPhone 7 or an iPhone 8 or something like that. Just get a cheap old iPhone and just like that, really, that's your best bet. You can always do a data transfer and then you can just pick up where you left off. So that's all you can really do if you have the uh, black and white screen uh, lines on the screen. With that being said, thanks for watching. See you guys later. Bye bye.